Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee. Oh my gosh, I went on a haul last night. You can't see very much of it, but I'll show it all to you. We went to um, Gordon's and the whole reason why I went to Gordon Foods in Cadillac is looking for pizza boxes. My friends all want pizzas. So, you know, when I take pizza to a friend or they take some home, it's easy to have a box. I looked online for these and they were ridiculously expensive. I don't know how these pizza joints can afford them online. And that's probably why our pizzas are so expensive. Well, I got these boxes for 50 cents a piece. Perfect. Absolutely affordable. The ones online were like a buck and a half to two bucks a piece. And I'm thinking, how, how could anybody even afford that? Anyway, because I found them so cheap, 50 cents a piece, I got 100 of them. So that ought to last me clear through the winter, you know. It's not like I'm in business to sell pizza. I just want to have them in case, you know, friends take a pizza home or, or call me and say, hey, will you make me a pizza? <laughs> yes, I will. I'm not going to deliver. Anyway, so I got pizza boxes. This is one box. These are 50. My other box is downstairs. So, I'm so happy about that. I hunted for a couple weeks for boxes, and then I found them at Gordon's. So, while I was at Gordon's, I got these marshmallows. Now, you all know I got my freeze dryers. I hate to say it, but it's coming up on, uh, you know, Christmas season will be here pretty soon. And I like to give, um, well, actually, this year, my market stand is what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, uh, like, um, hot cocoa mix, and I'm going to freeze dry these marshmallows, and I'm going to put them in the cocoa mix, because when you freeze dry these, they don't lose their shape or their size. They just dry up, and they'll be perfect for a cocoa mix. So I'm going to be able to sell that in my market stand during the winter time be wonderful and these were only like three dollars for a big bag and how many in, is in here it's a one pound bag so not too bad and I ran out of mustard the other day y'all know that looked in my pantry and I didn't even have any in my pantry so while I was at Gordon's I grabbed a couple of them for the pantry perfect I've never had the Gordon's brand mustard before but I'm not you know brand loyal when it comes to mustard just whichever tastes good. Okay, now I'll move this. And I probably probably should move this big box so that we can see it. Okay. I'm also, I sell a lot of freeze-dried candy. I mean a lot of freeze-dried candy out in my market stand. I almost can't keep up with it. So I, when I was at Gordon's, of course, I got the uh, gummy peach rings, which sell like hot bread. And then I got the sour gummy worms. I know kids around have asked if I was going to freeze dry the gummy worms. And then the, the gummy sharks are another popular freeze dried item. So I got, I got those for the freeze dryer. I also got from Amazon, I ordered the spree candies. And I ordered the, um, what are they, the Little Red Hots, the Cinnamon Red Hots. I ordered pounds of them to freeze dry and put out in my market stand because those freeze dry real nicely too. And this was just a small haul. And I'm always and forever running out of the cooking spray because I make so much bread and baked goods for my market stand. So I got these at... Um, Gordon's and I've never had them before. I'm pretty, um, I don't want to say brand loyal, but Pam is my go-to. I, for some reason, I just like that. Everything releases nicely when I use Pam, but I'm going to try the Gordon's. So I just got two of them. And if they work real good, the next time I go to Gordon's, I'll really load up on them. And last but not least, this was on sale at Gordon's. This is Nestle hot chocolate. And it's 50 packs in there. I got that for my grandbabies for the pantry. And it was only 9 bucks. So I thought that was a good deal. That's what I grabbed. And that is all I got at Gordon's. 
but we're going to uh, today, not in this video, it'll be another video. I'm going to take you down in uh, my basement and show you my big daddy um, freeze dryer. We're going to actually load it up with all this stuff because it'll fit all this and some probably in there. And we're going to fire that up and get that going today so I can get all this freeze dried. But this is just a short video just to show you a little bit of my Gordon's haul. And I'm so glad I found these pizza boxes. If anybody has a uh, outdoor pizza oven or a little pizza or makes lots of pizzas, hit Gordon's Foods. They're, they're very inexpensive for their pizza boxes. So that's it, friends. Just a quick little video. I wanted to say good morning, show you my Gordon Foods haul, and I will see you in the next video. You will have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching.